Step 1. Recognise the need. Imagine difficult conversations as small, independent fires. A fire dealt with quickly and effectively will cause minimum damage to all concerned and repairs can usually be made to patch up the affected areas. It will likely soon be forgotten about and the business can continue as normal. A fire left ignored, however, will grow and grow, burning upwards as it expands, affecting more and more people in the chain of command and requiring a solution of the requisite size to extinguish it. By this point, the damage could be huge, possibly irreparable. In both these scenarios, it is highly likely that the shout of fire went up at least once. In the latter scenario, crucially, no one acted. One of the advantages of being a dodger is that you'll probably find that you are better attuned to spotting these fires at the early stages than your tackling counterparts. Unfortunately, it's likely that this early warning system has been adapted to enable you to remove yourself from the area of potential conflict before it becomes an issue, rather than allowing you to head these situations off before they manifest themselves. This first step, recognising the need, focuses on using this antennae as the platform for turning you into a tackler. Where the tackler senses danger and deals with it, the dodger avoids it and hopes it will go away or be dealt with by somebody else. This may work one time out of four or maybe five, but on those other occasions it only takes one person in the affected chain, which grows larger with every ignored opportunity to deal with it, to realise that someone including you, had the opportunity to stop it, but didn't. So your respite is only short-lived, and the end result is usually worse. Spending your days trying to avoid certain people, and hoping that you don't get found out, isn't a fun way of living your life. The first hurdle to clear, then, is this almost automatic reaction to defer, put off, sideline, or avoid. When confronted by the need to engage in something unpleasant, there are usually two opposing forces at work. Your own desire to avoid a potentially unpleasant experience, pitted against the desire or the need, depending on your position, to have the situation resolved and dealt with. Needless to say, dodgers often set their self-preservation above the need to have the situation resolved. Interestingly, the weighing up of these odds usually doesn't even occur to a tackler. Tacklers don't perform the same mental balancing act before dealing with the situation. They just act. Although this process isn't 100% effective, what you can guarantee is that concerns about any unpleasantness fall so far down the tackler's list of priorities that they don't usually feature. To them, there is no decision to make. They want the situation addressed, dealt with, and in the past. Now, of course, to a dodger, this is easier said than done. But this kind of mentality you may, in time, find yourself adopting. Negative thoughts about a difficult meeting or conversation are usually the first step on the dodger's ladder to avoidance. Misery loves company, so they say. And this is true with dodging. One negative thought is usually followed by another, and another, and another, until you've dug yourself into a pit of irrational negative emotion, associated with the event so deep that you'll find it impossible to get out of. Suddenly, the thought of tackling makes you feel physically ill. Tacklers are adept at setting these fears aside the moment they surface, to the point where, with practice, thoughts of their own discomfort become a distant second or third to their sense of duty and responsibility. A good way to begin thinking like a tackler is to try and rationalise these thoughts. With every negative connotation, consider seeing things objectively and analyse a how likely that problem is to arise, b, how you might effectively counter it, and c, 
how bad it really is in the great scheme of things. By playing the Ghostbuster, you will help burst these bubbles of fear that you associate with such events, exploding the myths you have believed yourself for so long. There is a high probability that the things you fear are in fact largely insignificant when looked at objectively, especially if you plan for their arrival in advance. Soon you'll be wondering what it was you were worried about and you'll be ready to tackle the situation. The next nine stages will guide you through conducting difficult conversations, but at this stage it's entirely down to you. Seeing dodging as an unpleasant habit that you want to kick is a good way to look at it. It is a frame of mind that's holding you back, that's stopping you from taking charge of situations and moving on with your life and career. Perhaps events are controlling you, where you need to be controlling them. Needless to say, dodgers are very rarely, if ever, as successful as tacklers. How can they be? If you want to stop running, if you want to make a stand and prove to yourself that you can do it, then recognising and accepting the need to have a difficult conversation represents this most important of steps.